The Galaxy S26 Ultra could be the phone that defines 2025. Samsung knows the iPhone 17 Pro has made a big impact, and now it's their turn to respond. If the leaks are accurate, Samsung might set a new standard, especially when it comes to smartphone displays, according to reports from at News. The Galaxy S26 Ultra will come with a display that's brighter and thinner than the Galaxy S5 Ultra. This isn't just a small step forward, it could be one of the most significant changes in smartphone screens. We've seen in years. The secret behind this improvement is something called M14. This is Samsung's latest and most advanced old material. With M14, users can expect three main benefits, much higher brightness, lower battery usage, and a longer screen lifespan. That means the display will look stunning, use less power, and stay in great condition for years. For anyone who values display quality, this is pretty much the perfect combination. Now, the iPhone 17 Pro was rumored to use the same M14 technology, but no one is sure if Apple actually succeeded. Even if Apple did include it, Samsung seems ready to take things a step further with the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Samsung is expected to introduce something else called Co, which stands for Color Filter on Encapsulation. Normally, phone displays use a polarizer film to reduce reflections, but this has to downside zit makes the screen thicker and reduces brightness. Co fixes this problem by building the color filter directly into the OLED's protective layer. The result is a thinner, brighter screen without the usual compromises. Samsung has already used Co technology in its foldable phones since 2021, but the Galaxy S26 Ultra would be the first regular flagship to get it. That's a big deal, and it might even give Samsung a lead over Apple. Reports suggest Apple plans to introduce Co for its 20th anniversary iPhone. But Samsung could beat them by a full year. So, what does all this mean for everyday users? Simply put, the Galaxy S26 Ultra could have the best smartphone display in the world brighter, thinner, longer lasting, and more efficient than anything else out there. That alone could give Samsung a big advantage in 2025, when competition is tighter than ever. But the Ultra won't be the only phone in the lineup. Samsung is also preparing the Galaxy S26 Pro and the Galaxy S to 6 Edge. The difference is that these models will likely stick with the older M13 technology, which Samsung has been using since the Galaxy S20 for series. That means the biggest improvements, like M14 and COE, will be exclusive to the Ultra model. Leaked details also suggest different screen sizes. The Pro will have a 6.7-inch display. The Edge will feature a 6.66-inch screen. And the Ultra will come with a massive 6.89-inch panel. Clearly, Samsung wants to appeal to different users, but the Ultra will be the model that grabs all the attention. Of course, it's not just about the display. Rumors point to design changes and camera upgrades as well, which are always key features of Samsung's Ultra phones. However, some reports suggest the battery might not be as impressive as people hoped. Still, the display alone could be strong enough to carry the phone's reputation as the ultimate flagship of 2025. If we look at the bigger picture, the Galaxy S25 Ultra was already a great phone, but the iPhone 17 Pro has been dominating headlines. That puts pressure on Samsung to deliver something that stands out. By focusing on the displayer, feature that users interact with constantly, Samsung may have found the perfect way to win back attention. The real question is whether an advanced display is enough to convince people to switch. Some users already think flagship screens are good enough, but for others, every improvement matters. For those who care about having the very best, a display this advanced could be a game changer. If the leaks are true, the Galaxy S26 Ultra won't just be another upgrade. It could set a new standard for smartphone displays and give Samsung the edge it needs to stand tall against Apple and other competitors in 2025.